back again. Suzuka this week coming off of a dominant performance from both drivers, realistically. I mean, we're talking about an utter domination of a season as Pierre is up to level 89. He's an 89 overall rated driver. Love to see that. Theo, how you doing? Still none. Sounds good. Oh, we got some dev points for our staff. Simone Resta, been here since the beginning, an 85 overall technical chief. Love to see that head of aerodynamics also has a dev point. We may be making a, a, an eye towards a new head of aero that people might know in real life very soon. Let's do it. How's our pit crew looking? 96 on tire changes. We love to see that. We're so close to getting it to 100. So close. It'll it'll come. It'll come soon. Are we? No, it's going to be a, a straight turnaround. In and out. Bang, bang, boom. In and out. Or what? But uh, we got to figure that out. Are we going to do any special things? Honestly, at this point, I'm kind of thinking we just like start speed running this a little bit. And uh, try to get through the season so we can start next season fresh. Where we can start doing having more fun, last the first challenges, um, you know, all really alternate tire strategy, that kind of stuff. So we might just zoom through this season and then uh, see where we can get ourselves into going uh, going forward from there. But we'll see. Let's do ja let's do Japan. We'll start zooming through this a little bit and then we'll uh, get on our way. There we go. We'll hop on board with Lando once again as he is down the order from Pierre. Let's see as the light fades. On a beautiful evening in Japan, can Lando Norris make up two tenths on his teammates to put it on pole position? Pierre has had his, you know, pause on pole position all season long. He's definitely the much better qualifier of the two, but I think Lando's race pace is certainly a lot faster than, uh, than Pierre in the long run. As Verstappen puts in a time that splits the two Haas cars, this is all going to come down to Lando and whether or not he can put in one and a bit tense improvements. He has improved. Pierre has gone two purple sectors, though. I think it's all but decided that Pierre is on pole. He improves by a full tenth. Lando crosses the line. Not enough! Not enough! Lando! What are we doing, dog? You good? Doing in P4. It's a Haas. Oh, it's a Haas. Will it's a Haas doing. Second row. All right. A weird two stop with a weird rainy period in between. But nonetheless, let's get it. Japan. The season is going beautifully at the moment. We locked up the constructors championship like 14 races in to the season. Or something like that. We're up on Red Bull like 233 to 94. Something like that. It's 233 to 90 something. The Constructors is going beautifully. Lando. Lando currently holds a 29 point gap over Pierre uh, in the drivers. So Lando is close to winning his first World Drivers Championship here. Yellow flag, Sector 2. We're literally not in Sector 2 yet. Verstappen takes the lead. Not something we expect. Norris overtakes Duin. What a start from this one. Kevin Magnussen running wide. Where's Kevin in the order? P8? Sounds about right. We're flying. It looks like we're just holding on behind Verstappen at the moment. We're going to drop the ERS down. We're not trying to waste all of our energy getting by Verstappen. Because I don't think we'll need to worry about that in the long run. Yes, for our bringing upgrades for Baku, Imola, and Barcelona. I think uh, I saw that Mercedes also is planning on bringing their planned upgrades. Um, even with them moving to the other side pods style. I think they said they're still bringing planned upgrades to the next couple of races as well. Gonna be interesting. It's gonna be a fun. Uh, it's gonna be a fun month 
waiting for uh for Baku to come up for sure. It's gonna be a nice long wait. It's gonna be a very long wait, actually. DRS is enabled, and I imagine this is where things are gonna happen. ASMR and they're planning to bring upgrades for Baku Umla in Canada. I think I saw that as well. Yeah, I think they were definitely reaching the point where uh, a lot of teams are going to start bringing upgrades. I think they said for uh, Red Bull is going to bring some upgrades to Baku. Uh, McLaren basically said like in uh, Bahrain where they were like Baku is going to be where we finally get to see like the original version of the car that they should have brought to Bahrain but just missed. So. I think Baku is going to be very interesting. Ask somebody to bring a new rear wing for DRS. I think that makes sense because their car is very draggy. And so I think uh, upgrading their rear wing to try and take advantage of DRS more is definitely a smart thing to do. Pierre overtakes Verstappen to take the lead of the Japan... I don't know why I said it like that. The Japanese Grand Prix. Love to see it. Pierre, love to see it. New fastest lap here. Lando's still hanging out. Going into three week break, Aston in the first year race on a high, despite their struggle with straight line speed. Oh yeah, no, 100%. I mean, they're second in in the uh, in the constructors. I don't think that's anything to be disappointed on. Their car is a downforce monster. It's it's just the the issues that they're running into are on the uh, on the tracks with that require more straight line speed or like high speed uh cornering rather than like low speed it's uh it's just a thing you know it happens i think in uh we would have seen it a little more in jetta except for stroll's retirement and then um australia was an in just a wild race all around so i don't think there's anything uh anything you can't read too much into uh into that one i didn't do it i realized i just didn't do a uh a tire check we are going to be so far ahead because all of the ai are going to uh are going to pit for before the rain comes they got a bit lucky with the dramas but their car performance is on pace against ferrari and oh 100 percent yeah i think um i think aston martin is currently faster than ferrari i think uh the mercedes i think the mercedes is slightly better but I think uh, Alonzo has been able to extract more out of the car than um, than either of the Mercedes drivers has. Although they are starting to get with it a little bit. Yeah, they're, I mean they're relatively equal. I think it just kind of depends. I think um, I think Baku is going to be very interesting. But from what I saw in Australia, I think. Um, I think both George and Lewis are starting to get more familiar with the car. Obviously, it's going to change soon. But at the same time, I think they were able to uh, extract more more out of that than not. Monaco is definitely going to be very interesting for a lot of the teams because, yeah, I think Aston Martin can perform very well in Monaco. I think a team, unless um, uh, McLaren figures it out, I think um, Monaco is going to be nightmare fuel for them. Lando has been unable to get by Max Verstappen in eight laps. And, uh... Not ah, great. Let's speed this up a little bit. Let's speed it up. We're not feeling like we really need to watch this too many times. All right, Pierre has opened up a slight gap. Lando is struggling. Oh, that's still the leader. Never mind. I was gonna say struggling to keep up, but uh, it's been the same. I think the soft tie runners. Let's see. Expected strategies for. Anywhere from lap 13 to lap 26. If they try, if they actually manage to try and stretch it to lap 20, whatever, then I think it'll be all right. 
Verstappen has lost DRS to Pierre. Pierre is now in some clean air. And Lando should be able to make pretty easy work of, uh, of Verstappen, you would, you would think, at least. Who done it? Hawkon? You fool? We had a crash. Kevin! I didn't do it. I'm really bad at picking these out. Kevin! Huge lockup. Huge lockup. Kevin McSmashton. Screw. Oh! As a Haas channel, we need to take a moment and say happy birthday to Gunther Steiner celebrating a lovely birthday to say the least we love to see it hopefully that brings good tidings going into the rest of the year all right he's on 45 percent soft tires and uh It's very disappointing that he's been unable to get by That's effectively, is what I'm saying. I think we'll make sure of it on this straight by bopping him into overtake. He should have been able to do it. Kevin. Yuki! Yuki, no, Yuki, no! Not like this, Yuki! You were doing so well. Everybody's, everybody's boxing. You fools. You fools. I'm hoping Verstappen boxes like right now, like this lap. On Max, box. You know you want to. I want him to box like two laps from now. If he can box in like two laps, that'd be literally perfect. Doing not you. Doing, what are you doing? Dude, Max's tires gotta be, they're destroyed. How, why have you not boxed yet? Why have you not? This is foolish. I know, but we're so we're trying to slide him the strategies underneath the table, and he's not listening. I mean, if they call him in, he doesn't have to say yes. He did really well in Singapore until he didn't, until he had like a 30 plays grid penalty, apparently. I mean, he qualified like P2. It was crazy. The dude's flying. I know, but oh, there it is. Masterful stuff. Masterful stuff. Oh, it's gonna be damp in five minutes. Oh, the fools. Oh, the fools. That's what we love to see. Oh, we have a 16 second gap to P3 right now. And it's gonna rain in four minutes. I want to speed this up. A Ferrari, George, you fool! I think that was a crash. George, you absolute fool! Three minutes. Three minutes. One minute. The rain has started. Where are we on this? All right, perfect. Box for enters. Both of you, box for enters. You beauty. Track is now damp. Track is now damp. We've timed this to perfection. Both sides to perfection. In the box, he'll be in and out before Lando even gets to 
our pit box. Everybody's in. We're gonna even we're gonna come out before the people who stay out are out. This is gonna be great. We're absolutely flying. Look at this. Bang, bang, in out, in out, done. GG. Oh, oh, oh! The timing! The wet class masterclass. Sit down, children. Time to learn. Oh, we're gonna oh 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 all of oh 32% soft tires. Alfa Romeo Masterclass 30 leaving Giovinazzi out on 32% soft tires. Force India leaving Stroll out on 32% soft tires. Maloney out on 32. Oh, oh, Leclerc. Leclerc so in the mud it hurts. Oh my. Joe is gonna gain many places. Botox is gonna gain many places. Verstappen gonna gain more places than I wish he would, but you know, that's neither here nor there. What a turn of events. We are, we're gonna be so far, we're so far ahead of everybody. Oh my. Oh my, oh, 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 <laughs> 33 seconds. This is what you call a masterclass. Stay out in, 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 in. Come on, man. Oh my God. 33 hey, seconds. The beast. Welcome in. Thank you so much for the follow. You're currently, you're currently witnessing the greatest strategy in history of Formula One as we've woken up a four, 34 second gap to the rest of the field because we're the only ones who looked at our weather center prior to uh prior to the race starting apparently Verstappen waited till like three laps before the rain came to box this is what are we doing here what are we doing we locked up the championship seven races ago Lando's all but locked up the uh, the drivers, although Pierre could make it close. He could make it a little spicy. Wow. Well, I mean, what are we even doing here? I mean, it's going to be this way until lap 50. No. No. Stroll. Sounds like someone's locked you up. fool. Stop it. Stop it. Thank you. 35 seconds. I swear, if a safety car comes out, I'm going to be livid. I'm going to be livid. If they try and nullify this 35 second gap, it's going to be disgusting. Pardon? Like, come on. Like, I need to buy a second monitor. I've been looking at monitors. So I have an ultra wide for one computer and I had just like a regular 1440p for my gaming PC. I wanna get another monitor for my gaming PC, but the problem is I could get another one, this exact monitor and they would match. But at the same time, I could get a really nice monitor, make this one my second monitor and then give myself like a 4k monitor as like my main one i'm in a pickle magnuson bit magnus bin mag benison mag benison i think is is nice where's the uh hold on i can do it yeah i know i saw in the bin oh i love that emote it's so good. I'm really proud of that one. I, I spent a lot of time, not a lot, a lot of time, but like a lot of time making that. It's my favorite. For sure, my favorite. Okay, let's see. <clears throat> I'm 
the rain do still be coming down i mean let's let's like let's be honest let's speed this up a little bit it's it's rain like unless the safety car comes out like pierre is literally about to lap george russell joe running wide not what you want to see alpha romeo Leclerc all the way down in 15th. His teammates currently sitting P3. I'm sure Red Bull is not excited at that prospect, to say the least. Joe Brill. You can't be scaring me like that, Stroll. Several cars involved. Let's see what no, Force there. Indias. So no, Force, Force Indias. Stroll, you absolute... Oh my Oh my God, Stroll, you absolute fool. Oh my God. What are we... What are we doing, Stroll? What are we doing? Come on. No, there was no contact. Stroll probably tapped the wall, but uh... Yeah, it looks like Stroll tapped the wall. But I don't think he hits. It didn't look like he hits Van Dorn. Kevin Magnussen spinning again. Kevin Magnus spin more like it. <laughs> that sounds like someone's gone right no, there. Jack, come on. Dude, look how spread out the whole field is. Dude, I, I feel like uh, mistakes just like come in bunches. Like... When they when it rains it pours, you know. Alright, we gotta start saving tires, boys. Lando, relax. You have a 38 second gap. We don't need to be doing this. Under floor damage? Really? Under floor damage. Really? Dude, a wet day in Japan. What can we say? That's just how it goes sometimes. It's gonna be dry in two minutes, supposedly. We're gonna have to keep an eye on that dampness gauge. We have a 45 second gap behind. That's gross. Where is Pierre? Let's take a look at the replay. Now look at this, it's Pierre. Pierre! Pierre, what are you doing? Pierre, go! Joke's on him, now he gets to try and undercut Lando. Joke's on Lando. Lamau. Pierre Rex. I mean, the undercut's not going to work, but, like... Track is the track dry. is now dry. Dude, no one else has pit yet. Nobody else has pit yet! Pierre lost 30 seconds to Lando right there. He lost 30 seconds. Oh my god. What are we doing, guys? What the 
pale. My lights is not changing correctly. There we go. All right, everybody's in. I kind of got distracted. The undercut did not work. Pierre, seven seconds back. I mean, we're going to give him a shot, right? We also want to get fastest lap here. So might actually, actually, uh, he should be able to get it. He should be able to get it uh, right here. Oh, he already got it. Never mind. <laughs> we're going to just improve that real quick. And then uh, it should close the distance between us to Lando as well. You know, we give Pierre every opportunity to try and get himself back in this championship fight. But he keeps making mistakes like this. And then, you know, Lando gets another win. Like, that's just, it's, it's crazy, to say the least. It's crazy. You do be zooming. Obviously sets the fastest lap by the widest of margins we'll leave him on push we'll see if he can do anything on these last like two and a half laps to uh to catch lando but i think that's all gonna be you know all but done it for this one i mean he did run two seconds faster that last lap but that was on like qualifying trim pace You be zooming. Two lap, two racing laps remain. Here he does get DRS. That will make a difference. That will make a difference. Oh god. Oh. It'll be zoom, three seconds. That's not a lot, Pierre. All right, let's see if he, I mean, it's two seconds. Like, let's not, let's not be, let's, let's not get crazy. Let's not get crazy. Leave it alone. We're going to lock up the ones who, it was an, it was an, it was an exciting last five laps when Pierre decided to spin right at the end for no reason from the lead had a hilarious amount of gap and then uh, that was it how far up did we lap we lapped all the way up through P14 and it probably could have been even more for being honest but nonetheless Lando Norris wins in Japan. Pierre Gasly, P2. Another win. Another win for Lando. Another P2 for Pierre. P2 Pierre is starting to have a little too much of a ring to it. I didn't even see who finished P3. Williams continues to throw away their absolute lovely chances for good points. Good job, guys. Good job. Who is it? Checo! Checo P3. Let's go. But that's a Lando win once again. Pierre gets fastest lap. Lando gets the win. Lando now, what is that? 33 points clear with four races remaining. I think it's all done. I mean... Oh, they were at 90. They were at 92. So it's 249 to 90. My goodness. My goodness. The domination here is exceptional.
to say the least. Ugh, we're flying. Another 1.1 out, another 5.5 in. I mean, we're basically just printing money at this point. 